We all know fast food restaurants as cheap, unhealthy, but easily accessible as just about everyone buys fast food. This equates to the meat they are selling being cheap and unhealthy, coming from factory farms, animals raised in the poorest conditions possible, cramped living spaces, being pumped full of antibiotics, eating corn and soy slop, never seeing the sun. Some of you may have seen this attempt at speaking out against animal cruelty, aimed at McDonald's. Dear McDonald's. Dear McDonald's. Dear McDonald's. We believe in standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves. We believe in kindness, compassion. Doing the right thing. We believe no animal deserves to be in constant pain. Live in their own filth. Suffer with every single breath. We believe animals deserve mercy. McDonald's, you have the power to make a difference. You have the responsibility to act. You could end this agony for billions of animals. But, McDonald's, every day you don't act, you're allowing extreme suffering to continue. You're ignoring your customers. You're falling behind your competitors. You're letting us down. You're letting animals down. Dear McDonald's, Stop this cruelty. Stop this animal cruelty. Join us in telling McDonald's to eliminate the worst cruelty for their chickens. Take action. Take action. Take action at McDonald'sCruelty.com. Yet, in reality, there has been massive media hype around fast food chains incorporating plant-based meat into their menus. KFC partnering with Beyond Meat, offering plant-based chicken, and Burger King coming out with the Impossible Burger as a result of partnership with Impossible Foods. And vegans sure did book it to these fast food restaurants to stuff their face full of this processed garbage. KFC sold out of their Beyond Meat Chicken in a matter of hours. Is this a bunch of vegans and vegetarians craving meat? Or is the general population buying into the idea that eating meat is bad for you and that these plant-based options are eating better? I mean, is that even a question? I think just about every single person thinks meat is bad for them, at least in first world countries. You have White Castle promoting the impossible slider. Carl's Jr. is selling a Beyond Burger. Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwiches just about every single fast food restaurant is in on this. Selling pizza, burgers, tacos made with fake meat, and they sure are cashing in. Beyond Meat Stock being one of the most popular on the market skyrocketing this year. The true intentions of these people isn't as simple as giving plant-based dieters an option. They want to end meat consumption animal agriculture as a whole. Beyond Meat CEO Ethan Brown wants to make meat obsolete, claiming that there are health, environmental, and animal welfare issues with consuming it. But we know how true that is. Vegans will say anything to justify their starvation diet and we can expect the same thing from a ghoulish demon at the head of a company that is poisoning people. Pat Brown, the founder of Impossible Foods, has a mission to end animal agriculture by 2035, claiming that animal-based foods have a catastrophic impact on the environment. They are coming for our meat and trying to stuff us full of poisonous plastic that has been shipped halfway across the world. Whether it's Beyond Meat, Impossible Foods, all of these ingredients are likely of Chinese origin. Pea protein isolate, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, the dozens of other ingredients as well. Are they even making this crap in the United States or are they having China do it as well? I don't see why they wouldn't if all the ingredients are of Chinese origin. Keep in mind, China has all of these products shipped in from various countries across the world, then they process them further. It's safe to say these companies are using cheap, shitty Chinese ingredients because 
both Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat tested positive for glyphosate. This article on Impossible Foods is available, but there was an article on Beyond Meat that has been taken down. They are actively censoring the truth that this food is literally poison. Glyphosate is known to the state of California to cause cancer, and the World Health Organization says it is probably carcinogenic to humans, which means that it probably causes cancer to humans. Glyphosate also happens to be the primary ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup herbicide, and approximately 250 million pounds of this weed killer are sprayed each year in the United States. But what does the CEO of Impossible Foods have to say about this? Impossible has the same amount of protein as a lean beef patty. The imitation meat is slightly lower in calories, fat, and cholesterol, but has more carbs and has five times as much sodium. 16% of daily recommended value compared to 3%. I think it is a healthier option than what it replaces, and that's our goal. If we said, listen, here, you ordered a burger, but we're going to give you a kale salad, or something like that, that's not going to work. He said, yeah, let's completely ignore the dozens of poisons that go into these products, from linoleic acid in the canola oil that's going to oxidize in your arteries, the glyphosate-laden protein sources that are increasing your risk of cancer, all of the chemicals causing increased oxidative stress. Hey, America is well on their way to heart disease or cancer already. Why not speed it up a few years? According to a recent survey, people are buying into this. More than two-thirds of consumers said they would consider or had already bought a plant-based protein option. The appeal to authority will never be challenged. The general media's dietary advice will always be adhered to. Just like they have poisoned everyone with the low-fat bullshit over the past 50 years, they will continue to poison everyone with this plant-based bullshit and who knows how long this is going to last. I've been saying this for years. People are waking up that the general dietary advice is wrong. Flocking to ketogenic diets, paleo diets, even carnivore diets. This plant-based movement is a way to repackage the crap they have been feeding us into something that appears healthy. Just take whatever soy and corn scraps you can't sell or feed to animals, blend it up, and call it vegan. It's going to work, and by the time people realize that their health is just deteriorating further, I think we will be too far gone if we aren't already. The importance of nutrients obtained from quality animal foods will never go mainstream. And my dream of having everyone be healthy and happy seems to fade away further every single day. Even in the ketogenic or carnivore communities, my ideas are either being ignored or used to market cheap conventional meat as healthy. I can only continue to spread my message but I am being fought against on all fronts. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Above all guys, please share the video. If you guys would like to support me further, uh, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Uh, recently, I've launched a, a political YouTube channel called The Society of Order. Uh, I will link that at the end here. Uh, there's about a dozen videos on there right now if you'd like to check it out. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.